I found a set of 62 pound springs that will work with the 1.8 liter Ecotec engine. Stay tuned. Look what just came in. All right, so these are SuperTech valve springs. They are 65 pound valve springs. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed these work. And one of the cool things is the springs on this vehicle are beehive style. Yeah, it's definitely got some more spring to it. So tear it open and see what we got. These things are nice. Here's the comparison side by side. Uh, only issue is it's not going to work with the stock retainer, so I'm going to have to find something that will work with the 5 millimeter valves there. Okay, back to the drawing board. One last test. We'll see if these things are going to fit around the, the stock seals. Okay. We're good. Thank the Lord. So we just need to find some some different uh, retainers. I am on my way to the machine shop to drop the head off. I don't have the engine out just yet, but I figured I might as well get the cylinder head going and have them lap the valves, do a valve job, machine the deck flat, and. Tell me whether or not the SuperTech springs will, uh, at their installed height, if they're going to do the job. Which I'm sure they'll be A-OK, -okay, but I want to get it double checked. Well, this is the place to so get it unloaded. Alright, we're at the machine shop. I'm going to go in. The head is ready and I'm also dropping off the block. It is later in the day. Finally finished up with work. Obviously, I am back from the machine shop, but let me show you how the cylinder head came out. So I had them deck the surface. I don't know if I mentioned it, but I tried doing some backwoods. Uh, you can use some sandpaper, flat piece of glass, and I would not recommend doing that because apparently I started sanding off here and here, and he said the head was flat. However, they had to take off six thousandths in order to flatten it out, which is okay because it just means that the compression is now a little bit higher. I didn't really focus on this before, but I can definitely tell this lip right here is a little shallower. It's still there though, still plenty of meat on the head. My understanding that this is basically your machining gauge as to how far you can machine this thing down before it's just due. Well, let me know in the comments what you think. They also did a valve job and cleaned up the seats. So everything is looking really great. I had them go through and machine each one of the valves so that way they're nice. And you know, they'll seal up. They're nice and flat, cut. I don't even know what you call it, but the machine those for whatever reason there are three exhaust valves that just didn't clean up completely they cleaned up but they're just not symmetrical as you can see there so they did suggest me getting three new valves if it were just a stock rebuild it would be fine but with what i'm trying to do they highly recommended i get three new valves aside from that everything was a-okay I also had them check the seat pressure of these springs. He was getting about anywhere from 60 to 62 with these SuperTech valve springs. So that's a huge improvement over these, which were, I didn't have them check it, but I can guarantee you that these are probably somewhere in the, the 30 range. Maybe, I don't know. If you know, let me know down in the comments. And good news, retainers came in. The retainers that do fit, so I am going to see whether or not these retainers 
will hold on to one of these valves. And in case you're curious, these are the matching retainers for the springs that I did get. I'll leave a link down in the description as to which ones they are. They are titanium retainers and these things are small. I, I was telling Shannon that these things are about the size of a dime. She's like, no they aren't. So I got a dime and compared it next to a dime and they are. So these things are super light. I take it one of the first things we need to do is make sure, and I'm pretty sure because these were the retainers that are part of the set. Although I thought the stock ones would work. However, with trying to figure, eh, you know, something that hasn't really been done often or hasn't really been talked about. Maybe it's never been done. I don't know. Maybe we're doing some of the first here. Let's make sure that these fit. Like a glove, get in your home. So there we go. There's the retainers very snugly in there. Or I should say a retainer. Let me get y'all out of the sunlight so you can see this. Very nice. Man, those look dope. Those look dope. Those look those are for a client by the way yeah so let's see if this thing will let's see if it'll hold a valve all right all right something tells me this is a really stupid way to do this but I'd rather find out by mocking it up this way than trying to install it on the head and it just not work out. Maybe it'd be a better idea if I had some grease. Oh, there we go. And there we are. There is the solution to upgraded valve springs for our 1.8 liters. Man, and that just looks, that looks good. That looks good. I'm ready to toss these things into that head. So, however, I am going to have to order three new exhaust valves. But, man, that, uh, really looking forward to that. Thanks for tuning in. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. Leave a comment down below. Even if it's just a hello, give this video a thumbs up, share. So that way we can reach more people. And until next time, peace out with your peace out.